So we're back again, back with another Profit From Pennies update. If you're unfamiliar with what the Profit From Pennies movement is, it's something I started a couple years back and I'm gonna continue to drive it home because I think it's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope, honestly. A lot of people are becoming very, very familiar with it. And I want as many people as possible to become familiar with what the Profit From Pennies movement is. Just a little backstory before I move forward. As a kid, as young as I can remember, I've always picked up change off the ground based upon what I saw my parents and my grandparents do. I've talked about that in a previous video, which I'll link in the cards for you to go check out, but that's a healthy habit that I've carried throughout my adult life. I've always picked up change, right? And I still do it every chance I get. But the thing about picking up change, I don't go out of my way. Most importantly, I do not go out of my way to pick this change up. Wherever I'm going, if I see it, I pick it up. That's that. I don't give any extra effort, right? Because it's just, you know, it gets, it gets crazy. It gets crazy and I don't have time to waste at this point. But I pick up change off the ground and I put it in this jar. And over the year, throughout the year, from January to December, I start fresh in January and I cash out in December. So whatever I find from January to December, I then take that change and I invest it. I invest it into a particular REIT. A REIT is a real estate investment trust if you're unfamiliar. And that particular REIT gives a monthly dividend of 12 cents per share. Over the last five years, I found over five. $500 in free change in passing more than $500 and the best thing about that is I didn't have to go out of my way that's the thing no effort $500 in five years tax-free money to me somebody probably paid taxes on it in the past but I found it and it was free it was tax-free and I get to do whatever I want to do with that money so that's the perspective piece I want to add because when you look at the $500 that may excite you but when you see a penny on the ground you don't think about it you see five cents here 11 cents here 10 cents here here, 25 cents here. That don't excite you, but all of that adds up. All of that adds up. If you've been following me, then you know I am big on the little things because I know how impactful they can be over time. And that's the whole point of the profit from pennies, right? All the free found change compiles into that jar. I dump it into the stock market and that compiles as well. So on top of the equity that I get from owning the REIT, that REIT kicks out a monthly dividend. So I'm getting paid in two different ways. My free money is making me money and I don't have to do anything thing after that. That's passive income, literally passive income. And that's what a lot of people are in pursuit of, but they're just not thinking outside of the box, right? So this is what I want to tell you. Never underestimate the little things, period. Regardless of how much money you make, like y'all know, I am gradually coming up in the world. I'm approaching a six-figure net worth. I'll share more details on that in the future. But the more money I make, the only reason I still do this is because for one, it's a healthy habit. And for two, it keeps me grounded. It really keeps me grounded because I I know where I come from and I'll never forget where I come from. No matter how much money I make, I'm never going to forget my humble beginnings. And I do plan on being rich. Like I'm going to be rich. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. Like I, I know for a fact, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be wealthy. I'm going to build generational wealth that I can then pass down to my kids. They're going to reap the benefits while they're here, while I'm here. I'm going to witness it. But ultimately when I leave this earth, they'll be able, you know, they'll be able to tap into the fruits of my labor. Right. And then I'll give them the education at the same time so they can teach their kids but it all starts here it all starts with the little steps if you aren't already following me on ig i highly suggest you go give me a follow q makes it happen on instagram within my stories i post every single find of the day so every time i find some change i bring it home take a snapshot put it in my stories and i also reveal the balance so right now i want to play a little game i want to play a little game i'm going to share some pictures and i want you to guess how much change you think i found in 2021 2021 i found much less than a year before but these pictures will give you a general idea and you can take your guesses and by the time you take your guesses that balance will be revealed whoever gets the closest i'll let you know and i might have a little surprise for you
Okay, so hopefully you got your guesses in by now and hopefully you enjoy that time lapse. Fun fact, that was my very first time ever rolling coins. I've never rolled coins before and that was not fun. It took me a little over 30 minutes to do that, but the only reason I did that is because my bank took away the coin counter. I used to be able to cash in my coins for free, right? No, no charge at all as long as I was a customer to that bank. But my bank took away the coin counter and I am not, I am not going to Coinstar. I am not going to Coinstar where they charge, I think 12% now. So whatever I get, they take 12% of that. I'm not doing it. I'll take the 30 minutes per year to roll my my own coins and then I'll put them in the bank where they don't charge me anything, right? Because I need to keep all that. I personally think it's worth it. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the amount of change I found in the year of 2021 was $51.36. $51.36, all free money, all tax free, all money that I found in passing that I didn't go out of my way for that I get to do whatever I want to do with and what I'm going to do with it is invested into a REIT. Now, let's see how much change I found so so far this year for the year of 2022. That's what we working with. That's what we working with right there. $1.73. $1.73 so far this year. Now that's extremely low. We're already approaching May. Already approaching May. Like this year is zooming by, which is crazy. So we're already done with four months of the year and I found $1.73. I'll take it, I'll take it. That's significantly less. I imagine just from what I've seen, just from what I'm seeing, I'm gonna probably find even less than I did last year. But again, there's a current coin shortage going on and people just aren't carrying as much cash as they used to. Cash is becoming like people just aren't using cash. But at the end of the day, I'll take whatever I can find. I'll take whatever I can find. As spring rolls around, as summer rolls around, things will pick up a little bit more. But at the end of the day, Day, free money that's going to be invested is going to generate profit and that's what this whole video was about profit from pennies if you made it this far do me a favor and put profit from pennies in the comments so that i know you made it this far in a video also like the video for me if you like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't clicked that notification bell follow me on ig q makes it happen on ig and lastly join the q crew subscribe to my accountability group by clicking the join button below there will be exclusive content and you'll also be able to get more one-on-one -on -one with your boy and from there let's just keep it moving i go by the name of q and like i always say if q can make it happen you can make it happen i'll let y'all next video peace